Yo, what's up guys, it's Dan here, and today what I'm bringing you is my class setup video. This is going to be my first one, but it's not the first episode, I guess, of my series, which is just going to be trying to help you guys improve your game at Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, last week I did the episode on how to raise your KD, and um, in this specific episode I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to, or the best setup for the Honey Badger cl class, and um, this is just basically uh, my opinion, and I've had a fair amount of su success by using this gun, so... Um, hopefully if you utilize my tips then it might go just as well as you and um, this uh, kind of class setup is a chem strike class setup because obviously as you know my gameplays are based around chem strikes and um, using the, these classes to my advantage makes it a little bit more easier for me to get these chem strikes for you guys and if you're trying to get the chem strike on your own and you want to use a honey badger then I, I recommend you listen to the video or the commentary I guess and um, so at the start of the video you saw my class set up and I'll show you at the end as well but um, I'm going to quickly just speak out to you guys if you want to check just pause it at the end of the video or at the start if you want to go back but I'll probably you might as well just wait till the end while I just listen or read out all of the perks and stuff I was using um, so first off with the attachments what I'd recommend you is recommend you use is the extended mags and the extended mags obviously gives you more ammo, but not only that, if you're spraying a lot of enemies at once, you won't need to reload as often, and also another thing, it gives you extra ammo in the um, back in ammo, I guess, the ammo you need to reload, um, so you run out of ammo less, and as I said, if you come up against multiple enemies, you won't need to reload as often, and it also makes you, it makes you feel a bit more confident with your ammo, because the problem I find is when you don't have... Um, much ammo, or when I don't have much ammo, I always seem to like panic and think, "Oh crap, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss," and end up missing and dying, which isn't good. And that also that goes in combination with fully fully loaded, which is the first perk I'm using. And as I said, it gives you it gives you the full amount of ammo you can possibly have. And with an AR, you don't really want to use scavenger first because um, with an AR, you want to keep your distance from the enemies because that's where the gun performs at its best. Um, so you can pick them off at longer range and stuff like that which is good for um, that and um, also I recommend you use hardline and hardline is you can change it with dead silence if you want but I use hardline so I can unlock my specialist perks quicker and if I get assist which you do commonly get with the honey badger is um, because it's quite a weak gun compared to the other assault rifles you'll end up getting a lot of assists and uh, the assists will count towards your kills if you get two so um, that's really really useful um, the other perk I'm using is stalker and that's kind of self ex self explanatory just keep strafing away from your enemies and um, yeah that's useful the other one's dead sight, no amplify so you can hear footsteps if you're up in your sport, up in their sport and you want to know where they're coming from in each direction and stuff like that so obviously that's, I obviously use amplify in pretty much every one of my videos so that's a tip for you guys um, the other perk and the final perk I use is focus and now this is quite useful actually pretty goddamn useful because if you're getting shot at the gun's recoil is crazy as it is, but if you get a lot of flinch damage from the enemies, it doesn't help either. It makes your gun go spasticated, and you don't want that happening, especially when you're in a gunfight. You just want to keep winning that gun battle, and that's why I use that. Now, onto the unlocks. Um, it's You can run two or three. It doesn't matter. I, I am using three. The first one is sleight of hand, so I can get the reload off really quickly. The second one is dead eye, and... Notice how I mentioned that the gun is kind of weak with Dead Eye because it has a high fire rate. There's more chance, or the the more bullets you kind of like shoot, there's more chance of you getting the Dead Eye shot. And with yeah, that's basically it for that. And Scavenger, you can replenish your ammo because as I said, you run through your bullets quite quickly. For the specialist bonus, I, it's just pretty much up to you. I definitely use Dead Silence. Um, what else do I use? Um, at the ICU ping and steady aim sometimes for the close quarters so yeah hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and I'll see you very soon peace